All right, folks, today is September 25th, 2018. Just left my cornea, my retina doctor. And um, after a week of um, being on like extra steroids to get my pressure to go up, um, he says my eyes back to normal. Yes. Even though I can't see, you know, like worth a damn, this is all murky, extremely murky. Um, um, my eyes, at least the, the choroidals, choroidals, yeah, I think that's what they call them. Those have gone away. And um, I'm pretty sure my, um, <laughs> excuse me, I'm pretty sure that my, uh, Retina is still a little like swollen, but um, there's no way of telling because my cornea is in such bad shape, they can't get a photo image of the back of my eye. Um, the photo comes up with a lot of static. So I basically have to go back to my um, cataract doctor and um, he has to give me a transplant for my cornea, a full transplant. Um, I'm waiting on that because I, uh, I'm expecting a child, my first with my wife in about two weeks, if not longer, I don't know. I'm in no rush for that kid to come out. So um, Whenever the kid comes, the kid comes. But the point is, uh, I can't afford to be down right now, you know. And so I can hold off on that, but not too long. But, you know, in the meantime, I can. Also, um, you know, last night I was a little scared because my eyes started tearing. Tearing the same way it did when my pressure was too low. And the choroidals came. So... I was fearful, you know, that, you know, I guess the medication hadn't been working and something was going wrong. But anyway, I go to the doctor, my retina doctor looks at my eye and um, he says, well, I see what the issue is. You know, um, actually, the resident doctor looked at my eye and said, you know, he noticed that my eyes are very puffy and swollen. So he was like, you know, you're having irritation in your lid. And I was like, yeah, like it's itchy. It's, it's real itchy right up here. So he's like, all right. So he looked at the lids. And he's like, oh, they just look irritated. That's all he saw. Then my doctor comes in, my retina doctor. And he's like, well, you have a suture sticking out from your last procedure. I'm like, what, yo? I got a suture? I thought he took everything out. That's another thing. Like my doctor, you know, these people, they when they give you surgeries, when they perform surgeries, rather, and they say, well, we're going to take some things out, they might have to put a stitch in. And they just don't tell you, you know. So um, he had a stitch in my eye that basically was being irritated. That's why I was like, yeah, it's right here. And that's where it was. So they numb my eye. And then they take a needle and a tweezer. Oh, God. He dig in my eye. And I felt it. I was like, oof. And then, you know, he removed it with, this, with the uh, tweezer. God, that hurt. It didn't hurt, but it was like, like you felt it. It felt like it would have hurt if they hadn't numbed my eye. So, anyway, that's over. Um, as you can see, it's still very difficult to open my eye. Um, but the good news is I didn't lose anything. Like, my eye is still my eye. I didn't have to have any surgeries to fix my, my cornea, my uh, my retina, you know, like I'm... I'm okay. I'm down to one steroid drop a day and um, I'm all right. Like I'm back to the road of recovery and getting back to normal, you know, without too much change, too many changes to my vision, to my natural state that would impact my vision. Um, of course, having a full transplant will affect me and the way I go about life after that. But um as long as I get back to seeing, man, I, 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 that's my priority. All right, guys.